I'm Scott Allen Miller and welcome back to the Camera Cafe. Today we're going to do a little bit of a different topic instead of cameras or lenses. We're going to talk about bags and specifically sling bags. One of my favorite types of bags to use for camera because when I'm going out to take pictures, most of the time I don't actually want to take a lot of gear with me. I want to be able to grab something convenient, store what I need to do for my shoots in it, and go out comfortably. And most of the time a sling bag is the perfect tool for that. I do love larger bags when I need to keep all my equipment. It's how I protect it. It's how I store a lot of my equipment. I try to have different bags for each of my gear so that I have a specific place that it goes. But when I'm going out to do uh, specific shoots or whatever, I generally am going to take a sling bag uh, as my at least working bag, even if I have a larger bag with me. Now, the bag I want to show today is the Amazon Basics camera sling bag. I got this one about six months ago. It's $29.95 on Amazon, and I checked it just before doing this video, and it's not available at this time. I don't know if they're planning on restocking this or if it is simply no longer made, but this was a fantastic bag. For $30, I'm so happy with this bag. I was looking for a sling bag. I looked at many models. Most of them were about $35 to $65, and some of them looked great, but this Amazon looked adequate for $29.95, and Amazon Basics tends to be pretty high quality, so I decided to just go for it. And I have been thrilled with this bag, so I wanted to review it and talk about both sling bags and this bag specifically. Hopefully, this bag comes back in stock and you'll be able to, to get it if it's something that you're interested in because it's such a good price. Obviously, I am not doing this in a paid promotion. I don't even have an affiliate link, at least not at this time, although I would like to get one. And sorry for the background noise. I'm trying to do this with a Rode mic and there is an incredible amount of Rode noise right next to me, which I'm realizing may not work as well as I had hoped, but I'm trying to test this setup for another channel that I'm working on. And uh, so with this bag, which obviously I'm not promoted in any way to say, uh, there's some great space. Let me show this bag and how it works. So first of all, this is just a single, this does not go on like a backpack. This is meant to be uh, thrown over a shoulder like this. It does have some uh, additional uh, straps if you need to secure it so someone can't grab it off of you or can't fall on a trail. But most of the time you're just gonna sling it over a shoulder, hence the name or you can wear it as a crossbody bag, which if you're walking somewhere in between shoots, that's gonna be how you're gonna use it. But if you're just quickly shifting location, you know, I wanna throw it over a shoulder. Very versatile in that way. And that's what you want most of the time. And I don't tend to work with really large cameras. I'm filming this on an Olympus uh, EM-1 Mark II, which is a full-size mirrorless, but it's on the small side of full-size mirrorless. Um, a lot of the times I'm working with an Olympus pen, or even with just my GoPro or my iPhone, if I'm carrying a gimbal, all that fits in here. I can actually have multiple cameras, and most of the time I'm not bringing a lot of lenses. This really works for me. So I wanna show some of these spaces. First of all, the top space is big and open. I can put a lot in here. This is where I tend to keep my iPhone equipment. I'll put my iPhone, my gimbal, uh, my charging cables up here. There's a little bit of a, a netted area so you can have some control. You can put some batteries in there or whatever. I like that this top is padded, but really large and open. I use that for anything I need to grab a lot. That's just where it goes. In the front here, there is a small, I hope you can see it. We have a small pouch here. I tend to put batteries in here, uh, filters, anything like that. Small items work perfectly. There is netting in there and it makes it very easily accessible. So a lot of the times for me, it's GoPro and I need extra GoPro batteries. This is where it's going. For those who don't know, I do a lot of vlogging and I primarily vlog today on GoPro, although we're going to talk about that in a future episode where I'm planning on going with my vlogging uh, as far as gear. Uh, but for me, for now, GoPro batteries right in there, they're perfect because it's just the right size for them. And then we have the large main compartment here, and this zips all the way around. I open this up, flip this open, and we have a very large main compartment here. This is big enough that you can put uh, a DSLR or a large professional mirrorless in here and two lens spots. Now, this is not gonna hold giant telephoto lenses. I hope that's obvious, but if you're like me and you tend to work with a couple small primes, I can actually have a three lens setup in here. I don't actually tend to carry lenses most of the time when I'm shooting. If I'm going out to shoot, I've already selected my lens. So if I'm on my mirrorless, I'm probably just bringing the lens that's already on the body and then I'll have chargers or batteries or other uh, accessories in here. There's also another compartment up here, perfect for storing your money or more batteries or SD cards, especially in these front ones. Really, really nice there. When you close this up, it's got additional 
locks in the front. I mean, these are just, just plastic uh, hooks here, but they do make this pretty secure. You're not gonna have this fall open as long as you're zipping and securing. Um, the other thing that's worth mentioning is that, and this is not obvious at all, you go into the back and there's actually a rain cover in here. So if you get caught out in the rain, you can cover this up and uh, stay moderately uh, dry, right? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't treat this as an all weather bag, but you do have options to stay pretty dry. Um, I haven't tested this in the water, uh, so I'm not saying that I would take it out in a heavy rain, but if you get caught in the rain, you're probably gonna be just fine. Uh, and because this is a small bag and you're not gonna have a bunch of gear sitting in it, you're probably gonna be wearing it. You're not gonna have water collect in it. As soon as you get somewhere, open it up, make sure that it dries out. Anyway, so that is this particular bag, but I love sling bags because of their convenience, because they're so mobile. You can just keep it with you while you're shooting. You often don't have to sit it down. And if you do have to sit it down, it's easy to know where you put it and just work from it or whatever, throw it on a table. You don't have to have a lot of space. And the two things that I, well, the three things that I do most of the time, one is vlogging. So I'm mostly carrying around GoPro and charging equipment, batteries, extra SD cards, that kind of thing. I do uh, architectural and real estate videos for Central American Living. If you haven't checked out that channel, it's a new project that I'm doing, but we film homes around Central America. And uh, this is the kind of bag that I use for that. So I can pretty casually go into a home. I'm not like bringing a bunch of gear because we're moving throughout the homes. We're not setting up tripods. That's where this is rough. This doesn't really handle a tripod well. You, it can. Right, it has a strap up here, it has a strap here. You've got a couple spots to put a tripod. You also have a pocket here. You have a little bit of options for putting things, but it basically it doesn't have a big strapped area to attach a tripod. And you don't expect that on a sling, sling bag, that would get really awkward, right? A bigger bag, yeah, you may have a tripod somewhere for sure. So for moving around on real estate shoots, this is a really nice device for me. I like it a lot. And then I also tend to do uh, beach shots, which are either modeling shots or candids on the beach because uh, I work in a beach hotel and restaurant chain and uh, we like to be able to do promotional stuff. So we're out there filming activities and DJs and, and uh, dances and volleyball tournaments and that kind of stuff. I don't need a ton of equipment. I need one or two cameras. I need one or two lenses. Everything fits in this bag. Yeah, I stuff it pretty full, but I'm able to go to the beach and I'm, I'm not really obvious that I'm carrying a lot of gear and I'm able to move around to different locations because there's, there's the restaurant, there's the terrace bar, there's the uh, hotel suites, whatever. I can jump around uh, and, and keep my gear with me. And if I need to leave it uh, in a secure room or in a trunk of a car somewhere, it doesn't take up much room. I, can, I know I'm always going to fit. So when possible, I really like working with a sling bag just in general. It makes it really comfortable for me to do a lot of things that I do without feeling bogged down by the equipment. And that's important. You need to feel good about what you're using. And yes, I have large bags. I'll show them to you in a future episode. I love bags in general, and I have some big ones that are really awesome for uh, when I need to bring a lot more gear and all of my Olympus gear is stored in one of the big ones with all the different lenses. So I'm really ready. If I ever have no warning and I need to grab something that has everything in it, I'm ready to go. It's like my go bag for emergencies. But when I have time to plan, this is my bag that I choose for when I'm going out and being flexible. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I'd be happy to respond. Really appreciate everyone who has started watching the channel. We're getting some really good uh, uh, activity on the show already, and it's very, very early, so I really appreciate that. For those who are wondering, yes, we are filming on the Olympus EM1 Mark II with the uh, M Zuiko Pro 12 to 100 millimeter. We're at about 14 to 16 millimeters for this particular shot, and we're on the Rode, wire, uh, the Rode Wired uh, Boom Mic on the camera, going direct to the camera. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.